have to reach the Empress before Corythius. The only question is, how? We know how. I have our way in. The real question is, where is our enemy hiding? At the urging of Grand Duchess Florian, the Empress is holding a ball. Absolutely everyone will be there. During the festivities, Céline will be meeting for peace talks with the usurper Duke Gaspard and Ambassador Briala. The assassin must be hiding within one of these factions. Do we need to go to the peace talks? The Empress must have personal guards. We could just warn her she's in danger. We've made the attempt, but... It seems that our messages never reached her. Someone intercepted them. It's better that we don't leave this to chance. If Orle falls to Corypheus, no land is safe. Tell me everything we know about the Empress. Empress Selene is a renowned diplomat and reformer. She works tirelessly to secure peace for the Empire. Unfortunately, many Orlesians view peace as complacency. She has yet to name an heir, leaving the future of the Empire in doubt if anything happens to her. Especially when the next in line is her cousin Gaspard, who's made few friends on the Council of Herods. Selene is surrounded at all times by countless guards, courtiers, servants, and vassals. What better place for an assassin to hide than the Empress's own household? How can Gaspard still be next in line while he wages war against his Empress? The title Grand Duke indicates that he was a prince before the Empress took the throne. What do we know about Duke Gaspard? The man who would have been Emperor. He's Selene's cousin, and was first in line to inherit the throne when Emperor Florian died. Selene outmaneuvered him. She won over the Council of Heralds, who hold authority over title disputes. She became Empress, and he a general in the Imperial Army. He's well loved by the troops. He's also a Chevalier. Most of their numbers sided with him when he turned on the Empress. Aren't the Chevaliers part of the army? Why would they follow the Duke? Most Chevaliers are sworn to serve the Crown, but that does not give them faith in the person wearing it. The Empress has tried to improve relations with Ferelden and Navarra. The Chevaliers see her as anti-military. They believe Gaspard could lead the Empire back to the glory of Draken's expansion years. Who is this Ambassador Briala? An ambassador in name only. She has organized the elves of Halam Sheral into an underground army. The Empress invited her to the peace talks in a bid to gain the elves' alliance in the war. That would be scandal enough, without the rumor that Briala is a jilted lover of Selene's. A personal grudge and a network of sabotage at her command? <laughs> Promising lead. Wait. The elven leader is a jilted lover of the Empress? It's not widely known. Just a rumor whispered among the palace servants a few years ago. If it's true and where to get out, the Empress and an elf. <laughs> the scandal could destroy Selene's court. Even if a lie, Briella could use it to blackmail the Empress. She has some connection to the throne. You've given me plenty to think about. With Gaspard and Selene's armies entrenched, we cannot openly march troops to the palace. My agents will ensure your soldiers get inside. But it must be a few at a time to avoid attention. Understood. Just give the word, and we'll begin. The political situation in Halam Shiral hangs by a thread. The Empress fears our presence could sever it. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his guests, so our invitation comes from him. Whether we act as his allies or upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity, if not a clear advantage. Inquisitor Trevelyan, it is an honor to meet you at last. The rumors coming out of the Western Approach say you battled an army of demons. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orlais. I can see many benefits to such an alliance. Keep the image firmly in mind. We may see it materialize by the end of the evening. I am not a man who forgets his friends, Inquisitor. 
You help me, I'll help you. Prepared to shock the assembly by appearing as the guest of a hateful usurper, my lord? They will be telling stories of this into the next age. Can't imagine that crowd has seen anything better than us in their entire lives. I knew we would get along famously, Inquisitor. As a friend, perhaps there is a matter you could undertake this evening. This elven woman, Briara, I suspect that she intends to disrupt the negotiations. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. Tell me there's more to your suspicion than the elves were acting dodgy. That ambassador, Briala, used to be a servant of Selene's. That is, until my cousin had her arrested for crimes against the Empire to cover up a political mistake. If anyone in this room wishes Selene harm, Inquisitor, it's that elf. She certainly has reason. <sighs> be as discreet as possible. I detest the game. But if we do not play it well, our enemies will make us look like villains. We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall we? Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. I must warn you before you go inside. How you speak to the court is a matter of life and death. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. Don't they sound delightful? I'm shocked we haven't invited the court to dinner at Skyhold. The game is like wicked grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer in the Fade with the Fear Demon. It might be a good idea for the others to hear this warning. The bull, in particular. I'll have a few discreet words. Everything will be fine. And Raste watch over us all. And now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon, and accompanying him, Lord Inquisitor Trevelyan of the Austric Circle of Magi. Vanquisher of the rebel mages of Ferelden, crusher of the vile apostates of the mage underground. This guy writes better fiction than I do. Champion of the Blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? Oh, priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, renowned author, Farrick Thethris. Head of Noble House Thethris, Desher of Kirkwall to the Dwarven Merchants Guild, the Iron Bull. Leader of the famed mercenary company, Bull's Chargers. As the name might imply. The Lord Inquisitor's elven servant, Solus. Sir Callan Stanton Rutherford of Homley. Commander of the forces of the Inquisition. Former Knight Commander of Kirkwall. Lady Liliana. Nightingale of the Imperial Court. Veteran of the Fifth Blight. Seneschal of the Inquisition and left hand of the Divine. And Lady Josephine Charette Montillier of Antiva City, Ambassador of the Inquisition. Cousin, my dear sister. Grand Duke, we are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Celine. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor? Lord Inquisitor, 
We welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. Let's hope the breeze does not herald an oncoming storm. Even the wisest mistake fair winds for foul. We are at the mercy of the skies, Inquisitor. How do you find Halam Shiral? I have no words to suffice. Halam Shiral has many beauties, and I couldn't do them justice. Your modesty does you credit, and speaks well for the Inquisition. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look forward to watching you dance. Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment. Good. I was hoping I would catch you. What did the Duke say? He points the finger at Ambassador Briala. The Ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Selene is from her side. Empress Selene is fascinated by mysticism. Foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor, an apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. How can Selene openly keep an apostate in the Imperial Court? The Imperial Court has always had an official position for a mage. Before now, it was little better than Court Jester. Vivian was the first to turn that appointment into a source of real political power. When the Circles rebelled, technically every mage became an apostate. The word lost much of its strength. That sounds exactly like the person we're looking for. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the Guest Wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me. The package is in the guest wing. Upper room. The one of the garden. Statuette. I do adore the heady blend of power, intrigue danger and sex that permeates these events. You seem more comfortable with the Grand Orlesian Ball than I'd have expected. I have seen countless such displays in my journeys in the Fae. The powerful have always been the same. Only the costumes change. Have you seen anything useful? No, sadly. I do not have the look of one of the Elven servants or I might well be invisible. I wonder how masked men live their lives without ever seeing that servants have an entire society of their own. If you want to find something useful, I would pay attention to what the servants do. Have you encountered any trouble with the nobles? The Olesians do not quite know what to make of me. I have kept to myself for fear of giving them some purchase to cling to. The food and drink are excellent, however. And the servants have been happy to refill my glass? I'll be back. And well. Well, well, the Inquisitor. Here as a guest of my nephew, no less. How curious. I didn't know the Grand Duke was your nephew. He's my brother's eldest boy. Always a difficult child, Gaspar. Never listened, never did what he was told. He was raised a prince. All his life we told him he would be emperor. It was his destiny, his duty. What else should he do with his life if not fight for his destiny? Another time, my lord. You got anything that needs killing? Because the nobles keep messing with me and they think I don't know they're doing it. This keeps up. I'm gonna wear somebody's skull as my fancy little mask. Any interest in a dance? <laughs> oh shit, the nobles would love that. 
Can you imagine Josephine's face trying to explain that we were... Wait, were you serious? Because if so, then... Yeah, absolutely. I mean, once we stop the assassins and all that. Look at this with the eyes of a Ben Hasraf. And tell me what you see. It's a mess. Everyone's trying so hard to hide that they're walking around in plumage. Makes it tough to spot the dangerous lies, as opposed to the normal stuff. Oh, but that couple over there with the silver masks? The woman's doing one of the nobles, and the guy's doing two different servants. What do you think of the masks the nobles are wearing? They're no good as disguises, and they don't cover the mouth or hide body language. So they're not much help for lying. As fashion goes, I don't know. I've seen dumber. Anything catching your eye? They've got these candied nuts with some kind of spice on them. It's sweet until you swallow, and then... BAM! Hot! Uh, nothing on the assassins, though. Talk to you later, Bull. I'll just stay here and eat. You don't want to be here, stranger. He hasn't made the pickup. It's been hours. He went into the servant's wing. Nobody's come out of there all night. I'll tell Briella we have a situation. Well, well. What's this? Philippe should have returned hours ago, dallying with some serving girl while I deal with Gaspar's vitriol. Awfully selfish of this, Philippe, running off to play and leaving you with all the work. I've half a mind to inform the Dowager. That would teach him to shirk his duties to roll some elven maid. Tonight of all nights, leaving me to convey Gaspar's death threats to the Council. Wonderful timing, Philippe. Thank you for listening to me, Rand. You are too kind, Inquisitor. My lord! My lord Inquisitor! May we have a word? It is very important. The Empress has sent us with a message for you. I am always honored to hear from Her Majesty. Oh, she is the honored one, Inquisitor. Empress Celine is eager to assist the Herald of Andraste in his holy endeavor. She will pledge her full support to the Inquisition as soon as the usurper Gaspar is defeated. That's a generous offer. The Empress believes wholeheartedly that the Inquisition is our best hope for peace in these difficult times. She looks forward to cementing a formal alliance. As soon as Gaspar is out of the way. But we have taken enough of your time. Please, enjoy the masquerade, Inquisitor. Having fun, boss? I always enjoy canapes while surrounded by people who want to kill me. What's happening? Anything I should know about? Well, to be honest, I haven't seen much. But you wouldn't expect anything to happen out in the open. Everyone is on edge, and it's not just that they're worried about the war. Having fun, Varric? My brother used to throw galas like this in Kirkwall. I always tried to avoid them. I'm not much of a dancer these days. I didn't realize you were famous. You have plenty of admirers. I didn't know my book sold so well in Orlais. I'm going to have a chat with my publisher. We can chat later. Just wait for the signal. Just give the word. We're ready to move. Well, well. What have we here? The leader of the new Inquisition. Fabled Herald of the Faith. Delivered from the grasp of the Fade by the hand of Blessed Andraste herself. What could bring such an exalted creature here to the Imperial Court, I wonder? Do even you know? You may never know. Courtly intrigues and all that. Such intrigues obscure much, but not all. I am Morrigan. Some call me advisor to Empress Selene on matters of the Arcane. You have been very busy this evening, 
hunting in every dark corner of the palace. Perhaps you and I hunt the same prey. I don't know. Do we? <laughs> you are being coy. I'm being careful. Not unwise, here of all places. Allow me to speak first, then. Recently I found and killed an unwelcome guest within these very halls. An agent of Tevinter. So I offer you this, Inquisitor. A key found on the Tevinter's body. Where it leads, I cannot say. Yet, if Selene is in danger, I cannot leave her side long enough to search. You can. Briala's people are whispering about disappearances in the servants' quarters. This key may lead there. The Ambassador does have eyes and ears everywhere, does she not? Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound, and not all of them aligned with Tevinter. What comes next will be most exciting. Inquisitor, to what do we owe this honor? We are always delighted to speak with you, of course. Her Imperial Majesty is unfortunately occupied at present. I'd like to know more about the negotiations. It seems strange to hold peace talks during a ball. The nobility must do things very differently in Ostwick. By Orlesian tradition, moments of great solemnity are celebrated with revels and feasts. While joyous occasions are given time for reflection and contemplation. We must never forget that life is both bitter and sweet. The ball is an opportunity to celebrate life and hope for the future, while we mourn those killed in the war. What can you tell me about the other parties involved in the talks? Gaspard is a decorated general, much beloved by the Imperial Army, and a legend among Chevaliers. He is better suited to the battlefield than the throne, and he would gladly make his palace a war camp. He's also fiendishly charming. Lady Briella has great intentions to change the lives of the Elves for the better. Even if her plans could never work and would only provoke hate crimes against alienages, she is an idealist, but her lack of patience could prove disastrous. What is the Empress trying to accomplish with the negotiations? Peace is her only objective, Inquisitor. Gaspar and Briella are driven by personal ambitions, but those desires threaten the safety of all Orlesians. The war must end tonight. We must conclude this to deal with the larger crisis. Good evening. Until next time, Inquisitor. Do take care. Enjoy the masquerade. Inquisitor Trevelyan. Slumming even more than usual, I see. You've charmed some of the nobles. We'll see how long you can keep their favor. What brings you to me? I want to know more about the peace talks. What can you tell me about Selene and Gaspard? Gaspard is a warmonger. He served in the war against Ferelden and fought a dozen skirmishes on the Navarran border. He's a simple man. Simple men aren't hard to manipulate. Selene is the voice of reason in the Empire. But reason is cautious. Reason looks for compromise. Reason doesn't choose radical change, however sorely it may be needed. We'll speak more later, Ambassador. Another time, Inquisitor. My friend, come in, have a drink. What can I do for you? You've been busily charming the court, I see. I have a question about the peace talks. What will be going on in these negotiations? We will whittle one another down with words until we are bored into agreement. Selene will talk circles around us, that elf will glower and cast suspicion everywhere, and I will get very drunk. Somehow, by the time they stop serving drinks, our war will be ended. Politics, my friend. <sighs> I get the distinct impression that you don't enjoy politics, 
Duke Gaspard. In Orlais, they call it the Great Game. They believe it is something you can play and win. But there are no winners. Like dogs playing Wicked Grace, it is a mockery of action. Give me a battlefield, Inquisitor. I will show you who the victors are. When I am Emperor, there will be changes. No more of this courtier's nonsense. The nobles may not like it, but after a few lose their heads, they'll fall in line. You didn't extend this invitation out of the goodness of your heart, Grand Duke. As you might have guessed, I'm not the most political man. If the nobles believe the Inquisition supports me, it will help in negotiations. And uh, I take joy in watching the scandalized expressions when they see us together. What can you tell me about Celine and Briala? Briala may be called Ambassador, but she is purely a spy. She works towards some hidden agenda. Elves have no place in politics. Her presence here is suspicious. Celine is a skilled player in the game. She knows how to get her way with a few words and a smile. But the game is a farce. I will prove that a few hundred chevaliers are better than diplomacy. I'd like to know more about you. All of Orle knows my story. But you, my friend, are far too sensible to be Orlesian. The heart of it is simple. I am the rightful heir to the throne of Orle. But my cousin, Celine, is a politician, while I am a man of action. She charmed the Council of Heralds. They gave the crown to her, and while it looks fetching on her, I intend to take it back. If you're the rightful heir, how did Celine become Empress? I am the oldest, but I lack the Valmont name. My mother was the late Emperor's sister. Celine is a Valmont. Her honored father was my mother's brother. But she is the youngest. When there is any doubt surrounding the line of succession, the matter falls to the Council of Heralds. Celine outplayed me, forming alliances on the Council for support. So they passed over me in her favor. What's your claim to the throne? The Hundred Days Cough swept Val Royer in 877. It killed thousands of children, royalty and commoner alike. There are only three living grandchildren of Emperor Judicale the I. Myself, my sister Florian, and Celine. And I am the eldest, by rights. The crown should have passed to me. So you intend to out-negotiate your cousin? It will take heroic effort on my part, Inquisitor. And a lot of brandy. The talks will take most of the evening. Make her willing, we will emerge triumphant. We'll speak later. Duke Gaspard. Another time, friend. Must be the elves Briala's people are looking for. This was no servant. What's he doing here? Does this guy seem out of place to anyone else? That would appear to be Grand Duke Gaspard's insignia on the dagger. How curious. Time to have a word with the Duke. <laughs> Predatory agents! Fancy meeting you here. Shouldn't you be dancing, Inquisitor? What will the nobility say? No doubt there's a line of people breathlessly waiting for dances with me. I wouldn't be surprised if there was. You clean this place out. It will take a month to get all the Tevinter blood off the marble. 
I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? He was dead when I arrived. I expected as much. You may have arrived with the Grand Duke, but you don't seem to be doing his dirty work. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers, but killing a council emissary? Bringing to winter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. Are you sure he's behind this? He was too easygoing for a man plotting treason. Don't let his charm blind you. He's Olesian. That smile is his mask. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. What do I have to give you in exchange for this army of spies? A moment of consideration. I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. Every single major player has tried to bribe you tonight. In Orlay, that means you've officially arrived. Inquisitor Trevelyan, we met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Why am I not at all surprised that you want to see me now? This is Orlais, Inquisitor. Nothing happens by accident. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of a certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Very well. Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. You are from the Free Marches, are you not? How much do you know about our little war? I assure you, the effects of this war reach far beyond the borders of the Orlesian Empire. Perhaps it does. I should not be surprised to find the Empire is the center of everyone's world. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. Do we both want that, Lady Florian? I hope we are of one mind on this. In times like these, it's hard to tell friend from foe. Is it not, Your Grace? I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? An excellent question. I might ask the same of you, Your Grace. In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. I thought dangerous machinations were the national sport in Orlé. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspar before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspar's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. It's a relief to do something other than fight demons and horrors. You still face demons and horrors, 
These ones are simply better dressed. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. The Grand Duchess tried to convince me Gaspard is the traitor, but I'm not sure I buy it. Florian and her brother are as thick as thieves, but she would give him up in an instant to save herself. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Celine is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. I thought we were here to stop the assassination. Listen to me carefully, Inquisitor. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes, the best path is not the easiest one. You're asking me to decide what's best for Orle. More than that, whoever controls the Imperial Throne will affect all of Thedas. You cannot stop Corypheus without a decision. You must support someone, or all is lost. Then we should support Selene. She is the rightful ruler. Why would we say otherwise? Because she led Orle to this point. I say Gaspard, provided his sister is wrong about him. I would suggest Briala. She could bring true peace. Not only to the Empire, but also to its Elves. This is, however, your decision, Inquisitor. Not ours. We came here to save Selene. Then you must not only save her life, but also her Empire. That means giving her a victory over both Gaspard and Briala. If there truly is proof Gaspard's in league with Corypheus, that would be a start. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the royal wing, that he knows about the assassination. Which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access. And in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. So, even Liliana thought this place was dangerous and you wanted to just walk in here. This party is looking up. Hello? Is anyone there? Somebody? Anybody? What happened? It's not what it looks like. Honestly, I would have preferred it if it were what it looks like. The Empress led me to believe I would be Rewarded for betraying the Grand Duke. This was not what I hoped for. I can imagine what you thought your reward would be. Please, I beg you, don't tell Gaspard. The Empress beguiled me into giving her information about plans for troop movements in the palace tonight. She knows everything. Everything. The Duke's surprise attack has been countered before it ever began. She's turned it into a trap. The moment he strikes, she'll have him arrested for treason. Classic, Honeypot. I'll protect you from Gaspard if you're willing to testify about Celine's trap. I'll do anything. Anything. Are you all right? I'm... I... I don't think I'm hurt. No one's supposed to be here. Briala said... Oh, I shouldn't have trusted her. Briala told you to come to this wing of the palace? Not personally. The ambassador can't be seen talking to the servants. 
We get coded messages at certain locations, but the order came from her. She's been watching the Grand Duke all night. No surprise she wanted someone to search his sister's room. Is there anyone else who knows the code in the drop location who could have written those orders? I... I don't know. Any of us could do it, but... No. No one else would send me here. It had to be Briala. So this room belongs to Grand Duchess Florian. It used to. This had been her private room in Halam Shiral since she was a child. But this part of the palace was damaged, and the royal family moved to the guest wing. This wing is sealed. How did you get in here? Easy. The door was unlocked. One of the others probably handled it. What were you trying to find in Florian's old room? The message didn't say. I should have known it was a setup. It takes great courage to come to the Royal Wing unarmed. <laughs> it's not courage to blindly follow Briala's orders into a trap. I knew her. Before. When she was Celine's pet. Now she wants to play revolution, but I remember. She was sleeping with the Empress who purged our alienage. Would you be willing to testify to that, if I asked? Absolutely. If the Inquisition will protect me, I'll tell you everything I know about our ambassador. Go to the ballroom. Find Commander Cullen. He'll keep you safe. Thank you. Make her protect you, Inquisitor. What happened here? You painted it, Elysian assholes! When I get out of this, I'll butcher you like the pigs you are! Inquisitor, what a pleasure. I wasn't certain you'd attend. You're such a challenge to read. I had no idea if you'd taken my bait. I fear I'm a bit busy at the moment, if you were looking for a dance partner. Yes, I see that. Such a pity you did not save one final dance for me. It was kind of you to walk into my trap so willingly. I was so tired of your meddling. Corypheus insisted that the Empress die tonight, and I would hate to disappoint him. Why kill the Empress? What does Corypheus want to achieve? Selene's death is a stepping stone on the path to a better world. Corypheus will enter the Black City and claim the godhood waiting for him. We will cast down your useless maker and usher in a united world, guided by the hand of an attentive god. Your Orlesian royalty. Why would you help Corypheus attack your empire? You think so small, Inquisitor. Why settle for an empire when Corypheus will remake the entire world? I admit, I will relish the look on Gaspar's face when he realizes I've outplayed him. He always was a sore loser. What exactly is in this for you? <laughs> the world, of course. I'll deliver the entire south of Thedas, and Corypheus will save me. When he has ascended to godhood, I will rule all Thedas in his name. At this point, I'd think disappointment was an old friend. You poor deluded thing. You don't know half of what Samson and I have planned. And now I suppose you never will. In their darkest dreams, no one imagines I would assassinate Celine myself. All I need is to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill him and bring me his marked hand. It will make a fine gift for the master. And dressed his tits! What was all that? Were those demons? There aren't any more of those blasted demons coming, right? Good eye. Those were definitely demons. Maker, bless me. Demons? How could there be demons in the fucking Winter Palace? I knew Gaspard was a bastard, but I didn't think he'd feed me the fucking horrors over a damn bill. Duke Gaspard lured you out here? Well, his sister. But it had to come from him, didn't it? And all that garbage she was spewing doesn't mean anything. 
Gaspard had to be the mastermind. You honestly believe you were captured, tied up, and thrown into a death trap because of a bill? When you put it like that, it seems a bit odd. The Duke wanted to move on the palace tonight, but he didn't have enough fancy chevaliers. So he hired me and my men. He had to offer us triple our usual pay to come to Orlais. Stinking punsy cheesemongers. Want a new job? One that pays better? The Inquisition can always use a good mercenary company. You hiring? I'm game. Anything's better than this bullshit. You want me to talk to the Empress or the court or sing a blasted song in a chantry? I'll do it. Thank the Maker you're back. The Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? Wait here, Cullen. I'm going to have a word with the Grand Duchess. What? There's no time. The Empress will begin her speech any moment. We owe the court one more show, Your Grace. Inquisitor. The eyes of every noble in the Empire are upon us, Your Grace. Remember to smile. This is your party. You wouldn't want them to think you had lost control. Who would not be delighted to speak with you, Inquisitor? I seem to recall you saying, all I needed was to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. When your archers failed to kill me in the garden, I feared you wouldn't save me this last dance. It's so easy to lose your good graces. You even framed your brother for the murder of a council emissary. It was an ambitious plan. Celine, Gaspard, the entire council of heralds, all your enemies under one roof. This is very entertaining, but you do not imagine anyone believes your wild stories. That will be a matter for a judge to decide, cousin. Gaspard? You cannot believe this. You know I would never... Gaspard? You lost this fight ages ago, Your Grace. You're just the last to find out. Your Imperial Majesty, I think we should speak in private. Elsewhere. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you... You knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all-seeing, or that you're trying so hard to play innocent, and failing? Enough! We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. Every one of you is implicated. You all conspire to allow this to happen. That's a bold claim, Inquisitor. Are you prepared to defend it? You allowed the Grand Duke to sneak soldiers in, hoping he'd make a politically foolish move. That's duplicitous, even for you, Celine. You took the bait. I met your mercenary captain, Your Grace. He says you are ready to attack tonight. Clever move. If you were trying to get hanged for treason. And Briala was playing both of you. She murdered your ambassadors and sent you each forged letters. Even if I did, you can't touch me. No one will defend you once it's revealed that you and Celine were lovers when she burned Halam Shiral's alienage. You've made your point. What do you want? 
You are three of the best minds in the Empire. You could do so much for Orlea and your people if you stopped fighting. It is remarkably... optimistic to believe that the three of us could ever forget our differences, Inquisitor. I cannot believe you want to make a speech. This is foolish. We have no choice. The nobility requires an answer for what happened. Unless you want to pretend the war was all a dream. That would go over well. No more dithering. We make the cut swift and clean. Kindest to all of us. Lords and ladies of the court, we are pleased to announce that an accord has been reached. Our cousin Gaspar will now hold a place of honor in our cabinet. Friends, we assembled are the leaders of the Empire. We must set the example for all Thedas. We cannot be at war with each other while the Fade itself challenges our borders. We must stand united or surely we will fall alone. We will save Thetis from Calamity, but only together may we accomplish this. We will heal our wounded country. A long road of reconstruction lies before us. But tonight, we celebrate the arrival of peace. Let the festivities commence! The Orlesian nobility make drunken toasts to your victory, and yet you are not present to hear them. Do you tire so quickly of their congratulations, Inquisitor? It is most fickle after all your efforts on their behalf. I would have stayed, but the punch ran dry. Scandalous. <laughs> Indeed. Let us see if you take this piece of news as poorly. By Imperial decree, I have been named liaison to the Inquisition. Selene wishes to offer you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Selene knows you face an opponent who wields great magical power, which is far more important than her own curiosity. You will require my knowledge if you are to defeat such magic. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orle and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. What skills do you have that would benefit us? I have knowledge which falls beyond the realm of most mages. I suspect this is also true of Corypheus, thus it behooves you to add to your arcane arsenal, yes? Mundane knowledge will not bring the rift in the sky to a close, after all. When you say knowledge beyond the realm of most mages, do you mean blood magic? I know many obscure, forgotten, and forbidden arts. Some of it you might consider blood magic, yes? Should thought of that frighten you, allow me to offer reassurance. Knowledge alone does no harm. What I possess, I place at your disposal, to make use of or ignore as you desire. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. They ran out of that cheese dip, asked for more, and they gave me this look. The assholes. How you doing? We achieved all our goals. I'm enjoying the moment of peace. Sounds like a plan. You'll get kicked in the teeth again soon enough. Hang on to the good stuff. Come on. The music's finally got enough of a beat to dance to. I'd love to. Good. They're out of food. <laughs> 